There are various deadly substances in the world ranging from naturally occurring toxins to synthetic chemicals. These substances can pose severe health risks or lethal in specific concentrations. It's important to handle these substances with caution and follow safety guidelines. Hi, my name is Jessa and we're going to look at the top 10 deadliest substances we should have maybe left alone. Number 10, botulinum toxin. Botulinum toxin is a potent neurotoxin produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. The this toxin is responsible for the rare but serious illness called botulism. While botulinum toxin is highly toxic, it is found in medical applications that is controlled in purified forms. Botulinum toxin is one of the most potent toxins known. It works by blocking nerve signals in the muscles, leading to muscle paralysis. While ingested, it can also cause botulinum, which is a serious illness that can result in respiratory failure and death. In medical and cosmetic applications, botulinum toxin is administrated through injections directly into the targeted muscles. As an example, it's used in Botox. The effects are temporary and repeated injections are typically required to maintain the desired results. Common side effects of botulinum toxic injections include temporary bruising, swelling, redness at the injection site. In rare cases, there can be more serious side effects and it's important for patients to be aware of these potential risks. Number 9. Ricin Ricin is a highly toxic protein that is extracted from the seeds of castor oil plants. As ricin is considered one of the most potent naturally occurring toxins, it works by inhibiting protein synthesis within the cells, leading to cell death. Ricin is extremely toxic with the potential to cause severe illness and of course death. Ricin enters cells and inhibits the production of proteins by interfering with the cell's ribosomes, which are essentials for the protein synthesis. As a legal dose of ricin can be very small, making it potent toxin. Ingesting or inhaling even a small amount of ricin can be fatal. Ricin can be ingested, inhaled, or injected while ingestion is a common route. Inhalation is considered a more potent means of exposure as ricin can be rapidly absorbed through the respiratory system. Due to its high toxicity, ricin can be considered a potential bioweapon. However, the challenges associated with weaponizing and delivering ricin limits its practical use as a weapon. Number 8. Sarin Gas Sarin is a highly toxic nerve gas that belongs to the class of chemical weapons known as nerve agents. It is part of a organophosphorus compound family and is classified as a weapon of mass destruction. Sarin is a clear, colorless, and tasteless liquid at room temperature and it can evaporate into a colorless and odorless gas, making it difficult to detect. Sarin is extremely toxic and acts by inhibiting the activities of acetylcholinotesterase. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. An enzyme that plays a crucial role in transmission of nerve signals. The accumulation of the substance at the nerve endings leads to overstimulation of the nervous system, causing paralysis and potentially respiratory failure. Even small amounts of sarin can be lethal, as exposure to the lethal dose can occur through inhalation, ingestion, or even skin contact. The gas is heavier than air and can persist in low-lying areas for some time. Sarin has been used as a chemical weapon in conflicts. Notably, it was even used in 1988 at Halabaja, a chemical attack during the Iraq and Iran war, and in 2013, Ghouta chemical attack in Syria. The use of sarin is in a conflict as a violation of international law. Number 7. Polonium-210 Polonium-210, or 210, is a radioactive isotope of the element polonium. It's a highly toxic substance that has gained notoriety due to association with the poisoning of individuals, most notably the case of the Russian descendant Alexander Litvinenko in 2006. Polonium-210 has a relatively short life, about 138 days. This means that over time, half of the given quantity of polonium-210 would undergo radioactive decay. Due to this radioactivity and toxicity, exposure to polonium-210 exposes or poses a significant health risk. Ingesting or inhaling even a small amount of polonium-210 can lead to radiation damage to internal organs, while polonium-210 has legitimate uses in its specific scientific and industrial applications, its extreme toxicity and potential for misuse makes the substance of a lot of concern. Strict controls and regulations are in place to prevent unauthorized access to polonium-210 and to monitor its use in various industries. Number 6. Cyanide Cyanide is also known for its highly toxicity, as the toxicity is primarily due to the ability of cyanide ions to interfere with the cellular respiration, preventing cells from using oxygen. This disruption can lead to rapid and severe health effects, as cyanide can be found naturally in certain plants such as almonds, as well as apple seeds, as well as in various industrial processes. It is a product in large quantities for industrial applications, including gold and silver mining, metal plant plating, and production of plastics and chemicals. Symptoms of cyanide poisoning can include headache, dizziness, confusion, nausea, vomiting, rapid breathing, and a loss of consciousness. Severe exposure can lead to respiratory failure and death within minutes, and due to its toxicity potential for misuse, cyanide is, is subject to its strict regulations. The handling, storage, and disposal of cyanide-containing substances are carefully controlled to prevent environmental contamination and harm to human health. But if you look at certain cases, people have actually used cyanide to get back at certain people, but don't do that. Number five, arsenic. Arsenic is also a potent poison and chronic exposure to elevate levels that can lead to various health problems, including skin lesions, respiratory issues, cardiovascular 
vascular disease and an increased risk of certain cancers. Acute arsenic poisoning can result from the ingestion of a large amount of arsenic. Symptoms may include abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, and in severe cases, of course, can be fatal. Chronic exposure to lower levels of an over an extended period is associated with long term health effects due to its toxicity. Arsenic is regulated in various contexts, including drinking water standards set by regulatory agencies. Efforts are made to limit exposure to arsenic in both occupational and environmental settings. But then again, even though this is a toxic substance, it has been used in medicine for certain medical conditions, including some forms of cancer. These applications are carefully controlled, and arsenic is not used as a first line of treatment. But of course, research is still in processes of its effect. Number four, mercury. Not Freddie Mercury, but just regular mercury. is unique among metals for being a liquid at room temperature. The characteristics, along with its high density, makes it useful for certain applications. Mercury and its compound are highly toxic to humans. Exposure to mercury can occur through inhalation of vapors, ingestions of contaminated food and water, or even skin contact. The central nervous system is particularly sensitive to mercury poisoning, and mercury poisoning can lead to a range of health effects, including neurological and development to issues, kidney damage, and cardiovascular problems. Fetuses and young people are essentially vulnerable to the toxic effects of mercury. Mercury and usage of cosmetics, as an example, has also been used in time and has been extremely noted for its violent effects. But unfortunately, there are still cosmetics like in the whitening skin industry where it's worth over $14 billion in revenue around the world. Products tested in various of countries like Africa, Asia, Latin America, and North America has contained up to 40,000 parts per million, extremely over the legal limit. Number three, asbestos. Asbestos fibers, also known as their durability, flexibility, and resistance to heat, fire, and chemicals, these properties are made of asbestos attractives for use in various products, especially in the construction and manufacturing industry. Inhalation of asbestos fibers poses a serious health risk, and prolonged exposure to asbestos can lead to lung disease, including asbestoitis, scarring of the lung tissue, lung cancer, and mesothelomia, a rare and aggressive cancer affecting the lining of the lungs or abdomen. The health risk may not manifest until many years after after the exposure as asbestos related diseases have led to numerous legal actions including lawsuits against companies that manufactured or use asbestos containing products. Compensation may be sought for individuals who have developed asbestos related diseases due to occupational or environmental exposure. Number 2. Lead Lead is toxic to humans, especially to young people, pregnant women, and developing fetuses. Exposure to lead can lead to serious health problems including developmental delays, learning disabilities, and neurological damage. Even low levels of lead exposure can have harmful effects and lead poisoning occurs when lead builds up in the body over time. Symptoms can include abdominal pain, constipation, fatigue, irritability, and in severe cases, seizure and coma. Chronic exposure to low levels of lead can also lead to long-term health effects. Lead can also leach into drinking water from lead pipes, plumbing fixtures, and solder. Testing and redemption of lead in drinking water are important to ensure safe water supplies. As an example though, Flint, Michigan still doesn't have clean water. Even though they tried to fix it, there's still a lot of issues. Flint, Michigan is still suffering from a lead poisoning in their pipes since 2014, and although some of the issues have been addressed, there was still a rise in lead in 2021, which concluded a huge mistrust in the citizens of Flint, Michigan against their government, who still lacked the urgency for their water. Number 1. VX Nerve Agent VX is an organophosphorus compound with a systematic name of O-ethyl S or d ethyl methylophosphonothiolate. VX is an extremely toxic and exposure can lead to rapid and severe health effects. It works by inhibiting the activity of acetylcholinate Stress, trice an enzyme that plays a crucial role in transmission of nerve signals. VX is typically a colorless to amber colored liquid. It can also exist to vapor form, and its vapor is heavier than air. VX, like other nerve agents, disrupt the normal functioning of the nervous system by inhibiting breakdown of acetylcholine. The accumulation of acetylcholine is a nerve eight endings that leads to continuous stimulation of muscle and glands, resulting in paralysis and ultimately respiratory failure. The synthesis of VX involves complex chemical processes, and the production of nerve agents, including VX, is subject to strict international controls under the Chemical Weapons Convention. So that's very bad. VX has not been widely used in military conflicts, but is still of deadly potential as it's been focused of concern. Regardless, it is banned by international law. Well, that's all for today. Sorry for all the horrible pronunciation for science. I'm not good at it. Hope you learned something though. Be sure to like and subscribe. Don't be an evil scientist or something. Okay, bye. <laughs>